So this video is to teach you about Jalanda Band. Jalanda Band is the third of the three major bandhas, muscular locks. Mula Banda, the pelvic floor, Uddiyana Banda, the diaphragm. Jalanda Banda is the throat or the neck lock. We use Jalanda Banda in yoga for two reasons. As Mula Banda directs the energy upwards, so Jalanda Band is also designed to direct energy. But we also use it to control the flow of the breath. As I explained in the How to Breathe video, when we breathe through our nose in yoga, we don't have muscles in the nostrils and the sinuses to enable us to really control the flow of the breath. And so this is where Jalanda Band comes in. We can constrict the muscles in the throat and this enables us to really slow down our breathing. So rather than breathing without any form of restriction, using Jalanda Band means that we are only able to take a limited amount of air through the throat at a time. This restricted flow of air means that the inhale and the exhale are much longer and we begin to use the muscles of the abdomen, the ribcage and the diaphragm to control the breath. So you see that my inhale and my exhale is much, much slower, much longer when I engage Jalanda Band. For free divers, it is a crucial part of the mouth fill. We use Jalanda Band to create the lock at the throat to hold the air in the mouth. So for the intermediate and advanced free divers who are using mouth fill, Learning Jalanda Band is going to be a very, very important part because controlling these muscles in your throat are what is going to keep the air in your mouth or mean that you swallow it. But as well as simply being the muscles within the throat, Jalanda Band is also part of the sitting position. Because we're directing the energy up the spine, the spine needs to be as much in alignment as possible. We have a gentle curve in the back of the neck and this curve in the spine needs to be as soft as possible. When we practice yoga, many people I've seen in class, particularly when they begin yoga practice, have a tendency to raise the chin. However, this makes that curve in the upper vertebra much more pronounced and this disrupts the flow of the energy. So Jalanda Band as well as being the muscles inside the throat are the position of the head and the neck. So imagine that you have an axis going through your ears and this is the point on which your head rotates. So rather than looking up you're not looking down, but you're just pulling the chin slightly in towards the neck. And then you constrict the muscles. And this is Jalanda Band. We can move between inhaling through the restricted throat to completely blocking the airflow. And this is going to really help you to gain control over those muscles when you come to do your mouthful practice. 
So we're going to take an inhale and an exhale without completely blocking the breath, but restricting the flow of the air so that we can feel that slowing down of the breath, the lengthening of the breath because of the tightening of the airway in the throat. So first bring your head into the correct position, extending the back of the neck up and pulling your chin downward slightly. And then we inhale, tightening the throat, exhale, keeping the throat tight. And this time, when you inhale, I want you to inhale in four equal parts, locking the throat completely so that you disrupt the flow of the air, you block it, and then you open ever so slightly, keeping it restricted, inhale the next quarter, lock, inhale the next quarter, lock, and inhale the final quarter. And the same on the exhale. This will also give you a very good understanding of your lung volume. Where is half, where is a quarter, where is three quarters? <clears throat> so breathe in, exhale and relax. Bring your head into position, pulling up through the back of the neck and we inhale in four parts. Exhale. Practice this as much as you can, particularly if you are learning the mouth fill and you're having issues with holding the air in your mouth. Satnam.